Making money in GTA 5 Online has never been easier, but with so many different ways of making money it can get confusing. Well in this video I'm going to show you how I went from zero dollars to making millions and owning every business in Los Santos, where I tell you why I bought certain businesses first, how to maximise those businesses and what vehicles to buy to help you make that huge money. Using this method you can make your first million in just a few hours. What you want to do is sign up for a Rockstar account. This allows you to make $825,000 by completing three challenges, the Stone Hatchet, the Treasure Hunt and the Navy Revolver Challenge. Don't worry, I'm going to put in the description how to complete all these challenges, but I will advise you to watch this whole video first if you want to learn how to become so rich that you can buy whatever you desire in GTA 5 Online. Every Thursday GTA releases weekly updates where you can get discounts and double money on jobs. Well the certain week they had dispatch on double money and you can make over a million dollars. I've also made a lot of money doing arena wars, survivals etc when they're on double money. So keep an eye on what the weekly update is as it can make so much difference. On the PS4 you can also claim $1 million every month. I now have enough money after about a day of playing GTA to buy the Cossactica submarine for $2.2 million. The reason for buying the Cossactica is to get access to the largest money maker in the game, the KO Prigo heist, which can make over $1 million per hour and is a total game changer in GTA 5 Online. I didn't buy no upgrades for the submarine as I couldn't afford to. After completing the heist it has a 15 minute cooldown. The main focus now is to complete the setups and the heist as quickly as possible to make even more money. What I do here is I get my helicopter at this location where it spawns as I don't have enough money yet to buy a flying personal vehicle. I'm still poor. <laughs> Once you make enough money buy the Sparrow helicopter which helps a lot in the speed of completing the setups for the heist. While doing the KO Preco, the bunker and the upgrades were on sale on the weekly update. I bought the bunker at Chumash as I find that's the best location. I was now buying resupplies and selling stock during the 15 minute cooldown. You can sell the full stock if lucky in a solo lobby for $2 million in one sale on double money. That's crazy money. The next huge purchase I make after the bunker was not a business. What was it? Well you might be surprised but I eventually saved enough money to buy the oppressor. But to buy the oppressor I also needed to buy the nightclub and the terabyte. Altogether this cost me near $8 million and that's with the nightclub on sale at Vespucci Canals. So yeah, buying the oppressor is damn expensive. Buying the Oppressor Mark II was better than buying any business that week though because it allowed me to do the setups for the KO Preco heist so much quicker and easier. Nothing travels as quick where you can land it so easily and destroy enemies in seconds. It's an absolute monster. I now make enough money to buy the Maze Bank West CAO office while it was on sale which I needed as this allowed me to do the heists as a CAO as I was doing the setups etc as a VIP. I then bought the vehicle cargo at La Mesa that was on a deal and that was on double money that week. I was now making over $1 million per hour with the KO Prigo heist and then during the 15 minute cooldown I was doing import exports where I was selling top end vehicles for $200,000. The money was now coming thick and fast. There was actually no point at this point to buy any business at full price as no business would make you more money that week than what I was currently making. The next week the MC businesses were on sale at half price. I bought every business at Sandy Shores that week. Why? Well the cocaine business and meth I bought the upgrades so I was selling them during the cooldowns after the heist. But the main reason I bought all the businesses is because I then bought the technicians for the nightclub. So now not only are you making money by selling their stock for the MC businesses, you're also making money with them with the nightclub. The nightclub was a waste of money when I first bought it, but now it's making me millions because of the MC businesses. You're literally making so much money at this point. The next purchase I bought was the arcade when it was on sale. You've most likely noticed that even when I made millions I still haven't bought an actual supercar yet. And every purchase I make is for a reason to make even more money and it has to be on a deal. The arcade I bought at La Mesa because it now allows me to control all the businesses, the nightclub, the bunker and all the MC businesses. It's like a business control centre in one building. It's so convenient as it saves so much time travelling. You can also do the casino heist with the arcade. One of the worst businesses is the hangar business, but when you have the nightclub then the hangar business is one of the best to put your technician on, that you can make $500 when full. I buy the Fort Sancudo hangar as I then get a clearance to enter Fort Sancudo. The last two businesses I bought are the auto shop business which was at La Mesa and the CEO crates. The CEO crates was one of the best businesses in the game if not the best but since KO Perico has come out I would say the CEO crates has gone down the pecking order because the other businesses you can use while on the cooldown for KO Perico as they're more of a passive income. But CEO crates you have to work at to make money, it takes time. Saying that though you can make millions with CEO crates but overall it can't compete with the KO Perico. What I do with the CEO crates business is I buy two warehouses near each other. And then I put a terabyte in the middle so after I source a crate for a warehouse, during that cooldown I then source for the next warehouse, which I can do with the terabyte. 
If you buy one warehouse, then you have to continuously wait for the cooldown timer, which is annoying when you want to make money. The auto shop business is a lot of fun if you like doing heist, because you can do these missions on your own or with friends, but as a money maker, then it's not that good. If GTA 5 ever put on double money, that wouldn't be too bad. At this point, you now own every business in the game. I didn't count the Doomsday missions or the apartments, but I will make a video on those. The Doomsday missions was a huge money maker for me on my main account because I found it fun and they made a lot of money, especially on double money. You can watch a video here that I made on how to make millions in just hours. Thank you for watching.